What's up guys and welcome to this week's Gamer Nation here on Smosh Games where you guys all heard about the PlayStation 4 announcement last week. So now this week we're going to break down all the details on what that means to us and to the industry of gaming as a whole. And of course we have the very lovely, always great, Jessica Villarreal. Yeah. Hi everyone. Woo. Thank you for having me back. I love being here. Uh, you you know, love we, having we you. tried not to have you but the oh. audience wanted oh, it so man. much. The, the, they the revolted audience with that. Like enough of this girl schooling us on video. <laughs> I know. Oh get her out of I've here. been trying not to have Joven on this. Show. Yeah, oh. he keeps finding his way up. There. He cannot. <laughs> well, thank sign you, thank you, community. I really yeah. appreciate it. I love being here. So, so uh, the, the PlayStation, like they, they did announce it. Uh, mm -hmm. We will be seeing it this year, which uh, we might be avoiding the Joven hawk because of this. No, <laughs> uh, it's still happening. See if it lands on the November nineteenth mark. But uh, uh, so, Inky, you're always saying that you love the exclusives for the PlayStation. I How do. do you feel about all the announcements being made? Uh, I think it's cool. I think the controller is pretty neato. The, uh, the streaming feature for the controller I think is kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking though that it might be a bad thing because the internet is just going to be flooded with more walkthrough yeah. videos. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I think it's a cool feature. Um, I don't know, the, the system seems pretty neat. Now, that was one of those things where I was, like, I was just waiting for them to announce something completely pointless where I can look at the screen and be like, no, nobody really wants that. And then I saw the streaming thing, I was like, no, nobody wants that. Then I really thought about it, I was like, Everyone wants that. Yeah, that might be kind of Literally cool. Literally everyone. Yeah. yeah. No, at first I thought it was going to be kind of ridiculous too because there's already a bunch of pointless and useless stuff on the internet. But who's to say, come November, that you know I'm not going to be like, wow, this is actually a really cool feature. And I yeah. would like to you know watch you guys play or people would like to watch me play and, and see I what's going on. And I stream already all yeah. the time. So making it easier to stream on a console is awesome. Yeah. I mean, we have the equipment set up to stream and they're kind of making it uh, more accessible to just uh, your everyday person, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, Future but game. I don't know. I just I didn't see anything as cool as like the the Wii the Wii U's like asymmetrical gameplay. I was expecting something like revolutionary from this, well, and it, I, didn't, I felt like I, I didn't see that. I I think most of it is because it's actually just like all under the hood. Like it's it's yeah. stuff that like, the, really there was a lot of problems with the PS3. I know, shocker, right? But like it was really difficult for third parties to make good games on them. Like, look at the uh, the Skyrim DLC, how many issues they were having there. That's just a small example. Mm -hmm. So they really bumped up what was going on it, like with the uh, with the cell processor. I also, I feel as if, like, people's expectations are kind of ridiculous uh, a little bit, because what was the only thing that happened when you got a new console in the past? Better graphics, okay? So this console has better graphics, more processing power, and there's all these, like, little features on it that make it cool. So why is that a bad thing? Well, it's still not going to be anywhere nearly as good as like your average gaming PC, though. That's true, but it's going to be way cheaper as the other. I was I hoping, guess. I was hoping they would really announce uh, modding capabilities. Yeah. For uh, this, for this yeah. one, that's that's the big thing I was hoping they were going to announce. I'm like, it's going to be modding capable, and they're going to have. Well, maybe all that's these... you know, if they're still E3. Maybe that's kind of yeah, stuff coming. So I think Sony coming. did exactly what they sought after, and that is to get our attention. Mm -hmm. which they did because there's numerous conversations, debates, rumors, speculations, things like that. And what people don't realize, people are upset that they didn't announce a price, they didn't show what it looked like, they didn't know, they didn't we don't know November if there's going to be any for the, for the release. Yeah, but what <laughs> gamers need to understand is that they still have nine months to sell us yeah, on this yeah. system. And you can bet your ass, come E3, we're going to be listening. We're going to be paying very close attention because we all have so many questions that we need answered. And even then we might not get them answered because if you look back at the Nintendo Wii, or the Wii U, they didn't announce their price point until November, mm -hmm. or excuse me, September, and the console was, was released in November. Right, so right. even if we don't get a price point at E3, don't be shocked. What I was really surprised about was the lack of internet jokes the next day. Uh, they're, they're, I was expecting like a lot of, oh man, PS announced this, oh, no one cares, but I was like, hey, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, there's no. There's I saw no. a couple jokes about it. <laughs> right. I saw the. Uh, did anyone else see the abbreviated? Oh, the abbreviated. That was. Oh, that was pretty brilliant. So, like, that was pretty <laughs> great. Yeah. Yeah. But with the PlayStation 4, I think the the biggest upgrade, I think the most uh, exciting news is let's look at the problem with the PS3. Hey, I just bought a new game. All right, open it. All right, gotta download it. All right, cool. Oh, man. Now I need to update it. All right, cool. Now it's installing. All right, cool. Three hours later. All right, I gotta go to sleep now. I can't play the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, Whereas that's with the PlayStation horrible. 4, like if you download a game off of its network, like. <laughs> You start playing as soon as you download it, and it's yeah. actually it's downloading in the background the rest yeah. of the game. That I was That's pretty cool. impressed with, and I'm glad that that is is now happening because yeah. can I tell you what I didn't hours. like though? I didn't like the that you can't play the old PS3 games directly on the PS4. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, well, yeah. You, have to, you have to stream them. You well, it's nonsense. Them. Yeah, you have to do the guy guy yeah. thing or whatever, which is nonsense. It's just like another way for them to resell their old games. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's 
It's so transparent, like I don't under even understand how they're gonna get away with that. Well, see, that's the thing with the whole PS4 exclusivity. There isn't really anything that is exclusive on right. the PS4 yet, except for Knack. And then the one most impressive game that everyone is excited about, The Witness, is coming to PC and iOS. Mm -hmm. And with Watch Dogs, Oh man, that iOS version, I'm gonna play that I one. I know, yeah. but Speaking still, it's like, that, that, like, right now, I feel like I don't want to buy the system because it doesn't exactly feel next gen to me. Like, mm, I feel I'm like there's bad. nothing I can get on the PS4 that I don't already have on my PS3. But again, nine months except, later, you never except know. better versions of older games. Like, the new Killzone looked absolutely incredible. <laughs> Like if you're a fan of Killzone, you're at, like that game alone. The trailer or like the playthrough they did was enough to, for me to be like, if I'm just like a fan of the exclusives, be like, damn, I'm I'm gonna need to get a PS4 yeah, to play Killzone. Yeah, but the demo Killzone. of Aliens Colonial Marines looked amazing, and look how that turned out. Ooh. Okay, but have, yeah. all right, okay. all right. Okay. But have you played Killzone? Singa. Have you played Killzone? Yeah. I think I played the second one. Killzone's amazing. <laughs> There's no way that they could screw that up from Killzone three to Killzone four. Yeah, as long as they don't change it, it too much, Killzone. Yeah. yeah. Right, should be good. And then Watch Dogs also looked incredible. Yeah. That's but not that's an exclusive. On the PS3. Yeah. yeah. And you, that's that's for the PS3. Is it exclusive? Only. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So well, you yeah. can't even play that on the PS4. So it's like, what what were they doing there? Well, this? you could play it. By well, it was guy, the guy, 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 okay, guy yeah. whatever. Anyways, no, guys, sorry. that's our opinion. Now let's go to your opinions from our favorite segment. Uh, not really our favorite segment. It's a really cool segment. Uh, Tweet to the fans. Oh, did I hit you? <laughs> I okay. hit behind just I hit my eyes just to What kind of a dick move was that hiding behind her? She's a woman, Jovin. All right, guys, so for Tweets with the Fans, we actually, normally on Mondays, we'll tweet from at Smosh Games asking you the question of the week, and we get your response. This week, we've got um, from at Rami Thataros 023. That's exactly how you pronounce that, it, actually. Yeah. Thataros. The way you said that was like as if it was Scarface. I'm Rami Thataros. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a, a, like a, like a Spanish dessert. Uh, mm. He said that he's most excited for the uh, the 4K capabilities, which we actually didn't talk about. Wow. Now. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. 4K capabilities are only available for the discs, though, for movies, not for the games right, yet. Right, right, yeah. So. Now, I actually, I missed this part in the presentation, so I, I guess they announced it. I personally missed it, but it makes sense that it would happen. It's in the next-gen consoles. Like, that is the next generation of televisions. Why would it not be, uh, like, compatible? All right, moving on. <clears throat> uh, next from uh, you Dilat. Uh, what? It's, it's, uh, F A C U D L A C F A C F. Yeah. You say f if it's spelled fact. Because it's so much more fun. So yeah. F it's <laughs> pronunciation. Fuck. Fuck. The only thing I lo liked were the games announced, especially Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, going back to the Watch Dogs. I was a Dogs. naysayer. I was a naysayer on Watch Dogs when they did the E3 demo because it. It was just such a lackluster presentation, but yeah. this one really? looked awesome. Well, yeah. I, I like the EP. I thought the, yeah, too, I thought yeah. the EP. No, I, I thought it was great. garbage. Yeah, it was yeah. boring. I'm with Sully like, on that. I was I very tuned out after what like two minutes. What other game can you like manipulate traffic lights and cause accidents like? Yeah, yeah but it, no, the way that's yeah, cool. The, and they still haven't convinced me that it's going to be like free form where you can just kind of manipulate everything. Because like still a lot of the stuff that has happened in the demos has looked scripted. So I'll be interested but to see if it's as interactive as it seems. A lot of the seems. stuff that's in The Last of Us looks scripted too, but they're saying it's, I mean, mm. some, of, some of the fight scenes where they're like talking like mid-fight and like, I don't know, it looks scripted. Kind of. I think, I think they're gonna be able to do it fluidly. I oh, hope. I was just gonna say probably for the demo purposes, they're gonna take you through the cleanest, yeah, yeah. best yeah. option. Well, right, so. right, that's what I'm saying is, I'm not convinced yet that, I mean, if, if they have the ability to just kind of freely manipulate stuff electronically, then that's awesome. And then our final tweet came from someone named uh, Smoosh Anthony. Who's this douchebag? Uh, the touchpad area on the controller looks thrown in last minute, too small to have any real function. P.S. Joven sucks false. <laughs> well, you know what, We're, Smoosh this Anthony? This guy sounds like he's really intelligent. Yeah, I don't know. He almost seems like he's met Jobin before. Yeah. He yeah. seems to know a lot about him. Yeah. Yeah. Like he has the watchdog slip out phone <laughs> and says, sucks balls. Yeah. I, I think this Smoosh <laughs> Anthony is just know. like, he holds it about, up, yeah. sucks he's balls, trolling. see how we can use just that animation. Anyway, so last tweets from the fans, guys. Uh, now, Laser Cord, do you want to take us away to our next yes, segment? Yes, moving on, uh, we've introduced a, a semi-new segment recently where we pit one of our gamers against another one of our gamers in a debate format. We call this segment, PVB! Alright, so so Hinky's gonna go first, you have 30 seconds, and then Josh will have 30 seconds, and then 15, and then 15, and then you guys at home are gonna pick the winner. Aight? Alright, here we go. In three, two, one. So the reason the PS4 is going to be better than the next-gen Xbox is because they're focusing on all of the right things. 
So they're improving the graphics, they're improving the interactivity, they're improving their online features, which is basically the one thing that Xbox always had over PS was that it had the better online. Now what is, uh, what is Xbox focusing on? Well, they're going to make you have a Kinect and they're also going to make you use the Kinect, a terrible piece of hardware, to be able to even use the console. That just seems terrible to me. Uh, uh, PlayStation always has the better games and with the better online features, it's going to be better Stop! in general. Stop! Okay. A compelling argument, a com to be yes, sure. very good, that's very good, that's very, very good. You ready? Are you ready over here, I think Joshua? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm All right, ready. Xbox, I'm not ready. Xbox, Xbox, okay, in three, two, Go. Now, it's really not that hard to argue that the Xbox 720 will be the superior console, even though it hasn't really been announced with any new details yet. The whole thing is that uh, the, the one thing that PlayStation had was the graphics. And so now, with the next gen console, we'll be able to see what Microsoft can do to make it a better console altogether. So, yes, PlayStation will have better multiplayer capabilities, but Xbox already has that down pat. How could they make it even better? It's, they're just going to be raising the bar so far above PlayStation that it's not even funny. More time. Oh, two, well, one, that, and okay, Xbox there rules. There <laughs> right. Awesome. Okay. Nice closing argument. <laughs> so, uh, so now, now our 15 second. Rebuttal. Send Demas High School rocks. <laughs> Demas High School forever. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. All right. In three, two, one. Now the only thing that is wrong with your argument is something that you've acknowledged in the past, and that PlayStation has better games than Xbox. So what makes a better console, if they're equal in terms of uh, hardware, is the games that are actually on the console. And with the better internet features, it's just no way that you can say that Xbox Stop. was better than the PlayStation. Okay. Ready? Yes. All right. In three, two, one. Now, exclusives for the PlayStation in the past have been great, but I think as a whole in the gaming industry, we will see less exclusives moving forward. Now, with PlayStation's ability to have more third-party games being made, I think we'll see more of that actually expanded on the PS4 and less exclusives. That was good. Okay. okay. Sweet. Stop. That was great, guys. <gasps> that was uh. Come at me, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I got all ready he for it. Misfired. Yeah. He misfired. Yeah. He misfired. All right, guys. So that's. I have to say, oh, I'm like, that was actually. That, that was, was really good. That was no, no, not the card. Not the yes. card. Throw the card. <laughs> Anyways, guys, <laughs> that's Gamer Nation this week. Oh, well the done. death of the card. I feel so incomplete now. Oh, uh, man, throw this. Oh, uh, yeah, Ratchet Clank, who needs it? Guys, thank you so much for watching Gamer Nation this week. Catch thank us next Saturday. Always joining the Gamer Nation. Uh, tweets from the fans. We love you. I can't throw it. It's a $60 game. That's like money. No, I can't. Yes, I can. <laughs>